On August 5th, 1914, the small mountainous nation of Montenegro would join World War I, beginning what would become a devastating conflict for the little kingdom. But why did Montenegro join World War I? Hi, I'm Alexander Peterson, and welcome to Dino Historians. Today, we will answer a confusing question. Why did Montenegro join World War I? Montenegro, a small mountainous Balkan country, could have easily avoided the horrors of World War I. But it joined its neighbor Serbia and its allies in the fight against the Central Powers. But why did this small mountainous nation join the war? Well, to find that out, we have to go back to Montenegro's independence. We begin in 1877. For the past almost 400 years, the region that would soon become Montenegro had been under the control of the Ottoman Empire. During this almost 400-year occupation, several revolutions and uprisings occurred in the regions from the Slavic peoples of the Balkans. Montenegro's independence would finally be granted to the Montenegrin peoples in 1878. Starting in 1877, many large uprisings happened all over the Ottoman Empire's Balkan territories. The Russian Empire takes advantage of the opportunity and begins the Russo-Turkish War of 1877 and 1878. The outcome of this war would be the Russian Empire's annexation of Balkan territories and also spark the independence of new Balkan states. These new states would be Romania, Bulgaria, Serbia, and Montenegro. Finally, after hundreds of years, the people of Montenegro have their independence. This independence would be fully recognized by other European powers at the Congress of Berlin later that same year as an independent sovereign principality. Just over 30 years later, in 1910, Montenegro would gain its full independence as the Kingdom of Montenegro, with King Nicholas I as the country's king. A few years later, in October 1912, Montenegro would join its Balkan neighbors, Serbia, Bulgaria, and Greece in the First Balkan War, which would divide up the Ottoman Empire's last Balkan territories between the four countries. After almost eight months of war, Montenegro and its allies win and force the Ottoman Empire to cede almost all of its European territories left to the four Balkan allies. Montenegro would gain some territories and the country would grow much larger than before. One month after the end of the First Balkan War, the Second Balkan War breaks out. During this month-long conflict, Montenegro would join its next-door neighbor Serbia in the battle against Bulgaria. One month later, Bulgaria is defeated and is forced to give up many of its new territories to the Ottoman Empire and its former allies. Montenegro and its neighbor and ally Serbia had now together won both Balkan Wars, and ties between the two countries and each other's peoples were very strong. However, a few years later, in 1914, Serbia and Montenegro would have a bit of trouble with their larger neighbor to the north, the Austro-Hungarian Empire. On June 28, 1914, in the city of Sarajevo, the heir to the Austrian throne, Franz Ferdinand and his wife are assassinated by a Bosnian Serb nationalist. The Austro-Hungarian Empire accuses Serbia of organizing the assassination. A list of demands are sent to the Serbian government in Belgrade, which the Belgrade government actually agreed to most of the terms, except one that would almost turn the nation of Serbia into an Austrian puppet. Craving for war, the Austro-Hungarian Empire saw this as an act of war and on July 28, 1914, 
the Austro-Hungarian Empire declared war on Serbia, beginning the First World War. Montenegro, especially its king, Nicholas I, was not very keen on joining the war, as Montenegro was still recovering from the past Balkan Wars a few years earlier. The king's reaction to the conflict was to damp down the support for Serbia among the pro-Serbian nationalists within the country while attempting to negotiate the nation's possible neutrality in return for the Austro-Hungarian Empire's permission to expand the country's borders into its southern neighbor Albania, which Montenegro wanted to badly take the city of Skutan in northern Albania. However, the king saw throughout his country the Montenegrin people had large support for Serbia, and so the king ordered mobilization of the Montenegrin army. An army of about 50,000 men was prepared, and soon diplomatic relations between Montenegro and the Austro-Hungarian Empire were broken off. And on August 5, 1914, the Kingdom of Montenegro declared war on the Austro-Hungarian Empire, beginning Montenegro's involvement in World War I. Montenegro joined World War I to support its ally Serbia in the battle against the Central Powers. Although King Nicholas I of Montenegro wished to remain neutral in the Great War, the massive support for Serbia across Montenegro was too strong, leading the small mountainous nation to join the First World War. Thank you so much for watching Dino Historians, and we will see you on the next great adventure into history.